It's drywall day at our Build a House project in South Florida. Twenty-one team members arrive and split into six teams for this massive event. Since our framing episode, insulation was installed to protect against moisture, temperature differential, and fire. Crew 1 is ready to start the installation, working from the ceiling downward. This talented team carefully balances this 90 pound, 5 8 inch thick, 4 foot by 12 foot Type X drywall sheathing. They grab their drills to install drywall screws 8 inches on center. If you look close, you'll see the walls are marked to help them find the connecting metal studs. The next piece is cut to exact field measurements using a razor blade. It's a complex cut, so the additional cutout is done with a cordless drywall cutting tool. A similar cutting tool is used to route out this hi-hat and other openings as they go. Screws that miss the metal studs must be removed so they don't eventually show through the finish. Wood blocking is added to areas where the drywall is overhung without support to bond the two pieces together without cracking. We were surprised to catch this installer using a precise combination of buckets to raise him up and use them as a way to shimmy around the drywall installation. This bucket man stole the show. In bathrooms, Gold Bond Purple Drywall is installed to resist moisture and mold. Duroc Cement Board is used in wet areas that will be tiled for maximum water protection per coat. The cylinder is filled with joint compound and dispersed while the drywall tape is rolled onto the wall. Drywall tape provides an even seam between boards to prevent cracking. Proform joint compound is the material that's used to fill and smooth the drywall and dries to be sanded smooth. In the showers where Duroc was used, a reinforced mesh tape covers seams and screws and is water sealed for protection. The team works in concert, laying the drywall tape, adding the first coat of joint compound, and sealing open areas. Stilts are frequently used to provide the height and mobility needed to complete this task on ceilings and high areas. Unless, of course, you're Bucket Man. This corner tool helps apply an even coat of joint compound on inside corners. Work continues in this room, but a problem is discovered. The electricians didn't install the required outlets and the wires were drywalled over. To fix this, patches of drywall were cut out to locate and terminate wires for the outlets per the plan. These cutouts can be easily taped over now, but would be a big problem if not caught in time. Corners of rooms where two pieces of drywall meet are capped with this corner bead. Joint compound is overlaid in layers until the corners are even and smooth. A total of three coats will be overlaid over all joints and screw holes and sanded to provide a level four finish. After weeks of installation and finishing, the crew wraps up work so the area can be prepared for paint, tile, and finishes, all coming soon. Watch the framing installation using the link on the screen and see the entire construction of our Build-A-House project at engineeringplans.com forward slash build.